What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video. Today real quick, I'm gonna show you guys my $500 gaming slash Ryzen Torch build. Now some of you guys may be thinking what is Ryzen Torch. Ryzen Torch is basically Hack and Torch. We like to call our AMD Ryzen Hack and Torch build uh, Ryzen Torch. Now, the reason I'm making this video, cause some of you guys keep on hitting me up and asking me to use this AMD Ryzen 3 uh, 3100 CPU 4 core 8 thread uh, based on Zen 2 architecture, uh, TSMC 7 nanometer FinFET, so basically same generation uh, as a Ryzen 5 3600. The motherboard I picked up for this build, my favorite motherboard, a Gigabyte B450M DS3H. I personally like this motherboard. I got to test this motherboard with uh, Ryzen 7 uh, 2700 uh, CPU and then Ryzen 5 3600 CPU, Ryzen 3 3200 G CPU and also uh, this CPU right here, Ryzen 3 uh, 3100. So I got to test this motherboard with four CPUs. Also this motherboard works with Ryzen 3000 series uh, CPUs at the box. At least my one did work and also uh, you guys can see it uh, right top on the box. It did mention AMD Ryzen 3000 desktop ready. So you're good to go. And the reason I picked up this MATX motherboard because we are using a MATX case. Uh, the case I have here, a Dark Flash a DLM22. Uh, I have the white version. They also have some other color, I believe, uh, pink, green, and black. There'll be a link in the video description. If you guys want to check out this case, definitely do so. All right, we are not going to use the stock CPU air cooler uh, Ryzen 3 3100 comes with. So I have uh, MD rate uh, RGB cooler here. This cooler uh, comes with uh, CPUs like uh, Ryzen 7 3700X and Ryzen 7 3800X. I picked up this uh, CPU uh, cooler from uh, Facebook market for around $25. Now this cooler is also uh, a stock cooler but this cooler does come with like a copper plate and the copper heat pipes and also the heat sink is slightly bigger and also this cooler have RGB so why not. So I will try to overclock uh, the Ryzen 3 3100 CPU to around uh, 4 gigahertz or 4.1 gigahertz so we'll see how far we can go with this stock cooler but this stock cooler is definitely better than the stock cooler uh, Ryzen 3 3100 comes with. Now the RAMs I have here these are a data XPG uh, CL16 RAMs uh, 3000 megahertz I have uh, 16 gig here 8 gigs uh, each. Now you can pick up these RAMs from uh, Amazon for around fifty-six dollars. Uh, now I would recommend go with thirty-two hundred megahertz. I managed to overclock my three thousand megahertz RAMs with one point three seven volt, and uh, I managed to basically overclock these to thirty-two hundred megahertz. But I recommend just go with thirty-two hundred megahertz, and you should be golden. Uh, basically, if you have a uh, AMD Ryzen build or you're, you are planning on building an AMD Ryzen uh, computer, make sure you go with higher megahertz RAMs because you will get better gaming performance and definitely go with 16 gigs, okay? And the reason why I say 16 gigs, uh, some of the games right now, I'll mention one game, uh, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare. I tested this game with 8 gigs of RAM and the game was just bugging out, okay, flickering and everything because the 8 gigs RAM was not good enough for that game. So after I installed 16 gigs of RAMs and the game was playing perfectly fine and the game was utilizing around 12 gigs of memory. So just, just keep that in mind. Now, um, I have uh, two drives here. I have uh, one terabyte uh, Western Digital uh, 7200 RPM uh, hard drive, mechanical hard drive here for all my games. And also I bought this hard drive uh, used from Facebook Market for $15. And then I have uh, Samsung 200 uh, 56 gig uh, SSD right here. This SSD comes with a Dell OEM system. I managed to pick up this SSD 
from Facebook market for around $30. So basically I bought this SSD and drive from the same seller. So he kind of gave me a pretty good deal. Also, I got two fans right here. Uh, these are Kazi uh, Flex 120 millimeter. Actually, I had three laying around and I don't know where is the other one. This fence goes for $15 each. So these are kind of expensive. I'll leave a link in the video description for uh, something like cheaper. And also if you're not planning on going with RGB fans, I will leave a link in the video description for like non RGB fans. Maybe you can pick up like three or four for around $20. So the power supply I have here, EVGA uh, 500BR 80 plus bronze. I picked up this power supply uh, for around $49 so I don't know currently how much this power supply is going for so if I can find this exact power supply for the exact price I'll leave a link in the video description uh, for some other power supply from maybe Newegg or Amazon or eBay. So the last part I have here the graphics card so I have here Sapphire RX 570 uh, Pulse 4 gig uh, version. And this card I also bought from uh, OfferUp for around $80. Now, if you're planning on buying this card brand new, it will cost you somewhere $150. But that's why I recommend uh, sometime just go with used parts. All right, guys, let's jump in and build this PC. So let's start with the CPU. So I have the AMD Ryzen 3100 CPU right here. There is a gold triangle on the CPU. We want to line this gold triangle with the triangle on the socket right here. Okay. So basically we just need to uh, pull this lever up and then place our CPU in the socket. All right. And then just press and lock the uh, retention lever simple as that guys all right so we just successfully install the CPU all right now we need to install the cooler so we are using MD uh, rate uh, prism cooler so we don't need to uh, remove these two uh, plastic bracket we can just leave these brackets on real quick we'll just apply some thermal paste not too much All right, and now we can just install the cooler. Okay, we can lock one side here and then lock the other side. Now we need to plug this uh, CPU fan to a uh, CPU fan header. So I have two RAM stick here. Let's open this tab. Now some of the motherboard comes with only one tab on one side, but this motherboard comes with uh, two tabs. So make sure you just line this notch the notch on the RAM slot and then just press it all right second one same thing line this notch with the notch on the RAM slot press it and we are done installing the RAM so we have the graphics card right here Okay, and now we need to grab the power supply. So we have the 24 pin power supply cable right here. Alright guys, so I have everything installed. You guys can see, let me just 
uh, turn the power switch on on the power supply and then let's power this i have a small monitor right here as you guys can see so all right looks good everything did power up all right we see give white logo and now we are in the vice